Welcome to Sydney Harbour, the backdrop for the most spectacular New Year's Eve fireworks in the world and a location that delivered some aquatic fireworks for our series finale too. After three events, the dream team of Nathan Outeridge, Ian Jensen and Glenn Ashby look almost unstoppable. But as we head to Bustleton in Western Australia, they're about to discover this series is going to go down to the wire. The waterways might look charming, but they have plenty of challenges to test our world-class sailors. Tech 2, Pavement and Euroflex were out there training when our championship frontrunner ran into trouble. Looks like the rudder broke. Um, the stock between the top bearing and the bottom bearing has snapped. And then uh, when that happened, it went outboard, went through the side of the hull and sort of looks like a can up and it's gone down the side of the boat. They're fragile, high-performance craft, and um, you know things are on the edge, and um, that's also the beauty about the sailing. You know that's uh, that's what we like about sailing these types of boats. But um, you know things that are on the edge, sometimes uh, you know you go over that edge at times, and um, structurally that's just one that uh, I don't think anyone could foresee, and just unfortunate. But we'll uh, we'll play on. You know I'm sure the boat builders are going to assess this and see if they can fix it in time, but. Um you know, I, I think it's a big task to get it ready, so uh, yeah, we'll just have to put our eyes forward to Sydney. The hustle was on in Bustleton from the get-go. Hold on. He's, he's traveller, he's trav. Hold on, Aiden. Rounding up. Done. Yeah, it's all right. Ready? I'll give you a hand. Here? Come here, man. Back out of here. Copy that. And the West Australian Wobbles return for the Rouge Rockets. You all right? <coughs> Pavement joining the Red Flyer in the red zone, closing in on 70 kilometres an hour when it all went pear-shaped. I'm a bit concussed. All good. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, were starting to get a bit wild on me, and I was basically just struggling to stay on the boat. Next thing I know, we were, we were capsized. Um, I, I think I went forward. I must have hit the board on my way through. Was, I kind of can't remember <laughs> what happened before that. Just got getting a little bit loose and next thing you know you're in the air and the horizon's just flying by faster than you can recognise. That race was scrapped and you could have forgiven the Superfoilers for playing it safe in the next, but Phil Robertson was looking to light it up, closing in on becoming just the third skipper to taste success in the series. Just feeling a lot more confident and comfortable in the boat and getting the hang of it. So, um, yeah, we're, we're I'm clearly feeling a lot better out there in the bigger breeze and it's nice. We're, we're welcoming it and wishing we could do more in it. So, yeah, bring on the big breeze and we'll keep trying to send it. The World Match Racing champion there, Phil Robertson, sending it right up the scoreboard there on top for the first time for the Kiwi and peaking at just the right moment. Pavement and Tech 2 making the most of Euroflex's absence to take the podium there. For our Saturday session in Western Australia, hoping for 13 to 15 knots. At the moment, we've only got five. It's pretty light out there. Racing. And there's the start of Bustleton. Pavement out on the left. Tech 2 Way quite advanced off the start. Going here, boys. Look, we've got two boards down as well, lads. Go board up. Listening to Phil Robertson. That's way below par. A little bit more weight on Max Wing. Max Sheet. You get the sheet as well. And record point. They didn't have weight. the best start, so they've opted to tack onto port and head out towards the jetty on the far right to look for pressure. Already a different strategy. Where's the wind here, Sam? Yeah. Such a delicate game in this really light air. They've got to get their heads out of the boat and look to where the pressure's coming from. Parker, when everyone's falling away. 
Pavement and Tech 2, they're coming into a bit more breeze out on the left here. And it looks like Tech 2's made the most of it. They've caught it early and they roll over the top of Pavement. Jack, this is a big move so early on. How did they do it? Yeah, so that's the new pressure on their first to it. Tech 2's nailed it here, so they'll push right out to a boundary and then come in on a layer, I'd be expecting. And now Pavement just getting into the new pressure as well. They reckon straight left turn drive on it. Record Point, who had the worst start and tacked onto Port, has now got a big right in, is fully up and going. So actually, it's going to be pretty tight up the top of the course, I think. Nathan Outeridge, you're on the sidelines at the moment with Euroflex out. It must be hard to watch Record Point string it together in tricky conditions at the moment. Trimming in here, boys. Obviously, a lot's happening at this upwind, but I think the race is really about getting downwind. These boats are much harder to sail downwind than they are upwind. And I think. It looks like record points already around the top marquee, so that right-hand side of the course has paid off. There's good pressure at the top of the course, and Clean Made coming in close behind record point on that port lay for the left turn. He's driving. We've got to do the same. We will have boats. Just staying low, staying low, wait in. And it looks like pavement's absolutely sending it, Tess. Yeah, they must have found pressure out on that Fremantle side. Just keep an eye on that main lock. Don't let me stall. Stevie's foiling out the other side of the course. And that's going to seem rapid for our race leader. They've just been rolled, actually. What's next? What's next? Coffee? And for Clean Made, their decks of body scan indicates they're one of the lightest. Lighter, lighter, lot lighter. They should are a lot lighter. Coffee, coffee. And that's going to play into their hands really nicely here. Less weight equals more speed, and they're just milking it. They're in the lead now and absolutely romping along. Coffee. Cleanmate's been able to get some great depth on this downwind. They've had such a good run line in this pressure here, and now Pavement's in that same line. Around the right, Mark. You get the tool, you get the tool. Yeah, yeah, it's OK. These two teams have got a good little puff and have just jumped away from the fleet. And it could be a wonderful time, Nathan, to catch the other super foilers napping, put serious metres into them and close the gate and earn more points. It'll be a real moment to exploit for these two and they're going to absolutely go for it. Attacking. Get the board. board. Wow, auto tack on board. Clean made. Get the board up. Get the board up. Yep. Come on. Big left shift on the course. They've just lifted on the inside and made huge gates on pavement. Yours? Yep. And at a critical time, the race committee have opted to shorten the course with the light breeze out here, so the boats are racing up to the middle gate for the finish. We need to press, boys. We need to go fast. Where's the breath breeze? Where is the best breeze? The intensity on board, there's only 10 metres in it between the battle for first and second. Tess, it's foot to the floor, a massive scramble to the line here. Clean maiden pavement going toe to toe, mano a mano. And I think Clean Mates just had the heartbreaking realisation that Pavement will take the spoils in this hour opener. Good work, guys. Holy, holy moly. <laughs> that was... Uh... <laughs> well, Steve Thomas is on a high. He had that capsize on Friday and he responds with the result he would have craved. A great finish there for Pavement on top, just squeezing out Clean Made. Such a cruel sport sometimes with Tech 2, the other WA man, finishing in third. Race 3 from Bustleton is on the other side of this. No shortage of fun stuff to do here on Bustleton with so much coastline and so many days of sunshine, it's all about getting outside. So many good vantage points, including this one, but we've got the best of them for race three. Racing. We're already late. Let's go. 
This late approach could work for them if they can hit that start line foiling with speed. And ID there racking up on port. Three, two, one, go board. Two, one, turning. And Tech 2 here, they don't want to face in behind the fleet, so opting to tack out onto port. They're going to split. Yep. Wait out when you can. Tech 2 might have been late to class, but they're the teacher's pet gobbling up the notes yep. and gobbling up the metres. They're in first position, looking back, with ID also making a really good start, a welcome change for Paul Campbell-James, who struggled in last position in the open. Yeah, yeah, I've gone down. Press it. Go board, go board. And ID first around the top mark. Oh, it's chaos there, Tess. Everyone coming together, some close calls, but as cool yep. as a snowman in a refrigerator. No room. Hey, you no room. No it's record point that sliced their way through. And Phil Robinson just wants to put on the afterburners and get out of there. What a manoeuvre. Amazing stuff. Go, boys. Yeah. East Jeb, come on. Don't stand there, brother. Heaps to do. We've got clean made up and going. They've made the decisive move to hit the left mark and they've stayed in pressure. Pavement is actually probably still slightly in front of them, but uh, they're out in the pressure and fully foiling right now. And I think they'll try and hit the ley line into the start finish gate. Unfortunately for CJ, he's gone from first to last. Deck two holding on to first, but Nathan Outeridge, this is tight. It's super puffy out there. And uh, I think that this race is almost going to restart again when we get to the bottom mark because the leaders are sailing out of the front of the breeze. The tail enders are bringing down new pressure. Two, one, and then we're going upwind. And Tech 2, they're going to go right for the first part of the upwind into the Bustleton jetty as they round around the bottom mark now. Sam Newton on the front lifting that windward foil. They've got a nice lead here and this ley line into the bottom is critical. Up to Olivia Price on clean mate calling for boy room there. But you can see how slow she's going. Pavement is going to go right around the outside. And ID's moved right up into second position here. They've had a really good downwind there. Trying to make sense of all this right now, Nathan, is tricky. But Tech 2 are in front, 17 seconds ahead of pavement. And there's really nothing between first and fifth right now, about 150 metres, one and a half football fields. Can't see the mark. Got it. Pressure's almost intensified for every move here. Yep. Two, one, driving. Looking at this here, Big Tech 2 had a really slow top mark around in there. The tack bear away, hardly, hardly moving, hardly Big foiling. Gym. That to me indicates it must be soft. Sort and when you're in a position place. like Clean Matter ID, you'd be just thinking, you beauty, the leaders aren't moving and we yeah. still have a chance to win this one. What do I do? Continue? They've got to get their plans right. Tech 2's got more than a minute cushion over anyone else, so the challenge has to come soon. Yeah, he's clear. And record point are heading for that breeze one. Easy, yeah. easy, flat boat, flat boat. All good, here we go. Big trims. Smack it in. All in. Trapping in the middle. Nice. Jib on. And just like that, Phil Robertson has made the move for hyperspace. He's put down the hammer. A minute gap. Jevin Wood! He's going to close. Long way to go. And they still think there's more to ride out here, so they've just turned, put down the gas, and closed the gap. We'll go softer as we get off the pier. Coffee! I think we're okay. Look at this, he's 350 metres in front already and extending. That's one good puff down that run. Got a jive, eh, or not? Board down. Board down. Bob Marley would have loved that puff. The best breeze line of the day as they dive to the bottom marks for the last time. Okay, different game now. Four point, four point, four point. Wait out, mate, wait out. Come on, Sam. 
Luke Parkinson wanting every little gain he can manage. Record point have right of way here, but don't complete the jibe nicely. And Tech Two's taking the lead back. So look at that. You can be miles behind, you can be way in front. It's all about who's going to be leading at this finishing line. You can see Pavin in the background really stopped there and clean made taking the mark and record point going to the far side so i think the race is really on here for who's going to come second it looks like tech two might have a big enough lead and it's a really close battle between clean made and record point this will be the finish lean hard let's get it going anyway this is the finish it's their first win in the super foilers here we go taking off and tech two has ticked that off Solid. their list can sail downwind just quietly and it is a Bustleton bullseye for Luke Parkinson, Sam Newton and Aidan Menzies. For race three is the story of Tech 2, their breakthrough triumph. Ahead of ID, clean mate and record point. That one probably hurts the most for them. They had the lead and they finish a minute 27 seconds behind. Luke Parkinson will have all his buddies watching that on the loop at the Fremantle Sailing Club for a long time to come. Here are some of the best bits. The Super Foiler is a travelling circus. We've been to five states throughout the series, covered the same amount of distance as a flight from Sydney to Los Angeles. We've had more than 60 personnel tweaking the boats, packing them up, getting all party mode behind the scenes to get the boats ready. And they do a ripping job to ensure that the Super Foilers are able to compete at each destination, even when the wind is being cruel, like here on our final leg of race four, Tech Two in the lead. Not yet, I need to turn up. Need some room here, Phil! Super Foilers, this race is shortened. Phil is in the firing line now. Our race has been shortened, so it's going to be an arm wrestle. Every millimetre is going to count as they close in on the finish. It's Tech 2 with a 30-second lead over pavement and record point, with Clean Made just four seconds adrift. And ID, it's going to be tough work for them on this, our final leg, as Tech 2 starts to stretch her legs. She's got a sniff. Wait up. Wait up now, come up. This is the final upwind up towards that middle gate. The light winds here, there's already been racing for 22 minutes plus, so the race committee's decided to short. Go board. Go board. Board, board, board. board yeah. Smash it. Go, 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 go. Which means we're back in race mode and it is a scurry, go, go, go. a mad rush to the finish. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And Phil Robertson wants Come more on. from his sluggish crew. Serious, lads. Go speed, speed, speed. Very speed. close tack behind. Clean made there. We're foiling here. Or Sam Phillips feeling the wrath of the Kiwi there, but it seems to have worked. They're stretching up as Tech 2 closes in. Nath, it's another win, or at least looking like it for Tech 2. I've sat with Parker for a number of years on the on the uh, Artemis team, and he does get quite fired up. And, you know, which is great, but you need someone to, to balance that. Aidan Menzies, he never shuts up in the middle of the boat. So I think Sam's that calm voice, and he's a very good forward hand. He's been really good on the 80-foot skiffs doing the bow, and uh, was a great contributor to the America's Cup team with Oracle when they won in San Francisco, and we're also with him again in Bermuda. And you can see it's built a bit. We've got three on trapeze now, and the boats are foiling as they come to that finish line. And they've just crossed that line there. You can see the committee boat to the right. Really nice there, guys. Really Happy with that. Really composed. Yeah, that's really nice. Transitioning really well. Local Luke Parkinson gets his hand on another victory at this, his home regatta. Tech 2 on top, ahead of pavement and clean made, with Euroflex really suffering, not able to line up today. And a bonus race here for Saturday, given we missed a couple on Friday. And they're off the start here. Tech 2 on port, record point also on port. And these guys are going to be so happy to sail in more breeze, Nick. OK, trimming up, trimming up. Copy. Oh, it sure looks good, Tess. 
ID absolutely screaming along right now. Have to agree, they are coming in hot and maybe a little too hot. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, Tess, almost chaos. Crisis just averted there. Yeah, we had a port starboard crossing there, Nick, and ID didn't have right of way and couldn't quite make it clear ahead, but they've wiped off their double jive, not costing them too much, and we're back on the upwind now. What a great shot of record point. Close together with Tech 2. The wind's built, but it doesn't look very consistent out there. These guys are struggling to get stable flight above the water. My hand, but no worries. Yeah, those impacts can be really painful as we see ID has crept back into the contest. And the breeze has lightened off a little bit again. And ID is sailing so well this race. Wait for it if you can. A superb return to form for Paul Campbell James and Tech 2. They've won two already. They're eyeing a third for the day. Ready go, board. Tech 2, they're on their downwind, coming into the bottom gates. Aiden Menzies almost doing the splits there on the port float. Yeah, a little bit too much lured heel there. They've got to get the boat back on top of them to regain control. It's wet and loose out there at the moment. Plenty of splashdowns as we see. Clean mate pick up again and just take off there. Super close racing here as they sail their final upwind into the finish. This is our race leader, ID, closing in on a victory. Okay, let's just shoom another lap, all right? Good work, lads. Nice one. And nice they've work, sealed Kinley. the win. It's Kinley Fowler's first weekend, and he's already got a victory. ID on top, ahead of Tech 2 and Clean Made with record point in fourth, and Euroflex suffering, not able to take to the water on Saturday. What a great win. You were motoring up that last beat. Yeah, we were. We had a... Um... We had a bit of an incident with Steve, obviously coming down wind that one time and uh, totally our fault. But, um, you know, we managed to bounce back from that. And, yeah, our upwind speed is pretty ballistic. We've just got to work on the downwinds. But it's always nice to end with a bullet, isn't it? Yeah. Great stuff, CJ. Cheers, mate. Well, this regatta is wide open with the absence of Euroflex Tech 2 at the moment on top with 25 points. Clean made a shining star on 20 with Steve Thomas's pavement also locked on 20 points. But that result from Paul Campbell James and Fang Warren catapults them right up the leaderboard. It's anyone's race, and we'll have more racing after this. When the racing stops and night falls on our racing circuits, the mission isn't complete. That is when our boat building teams amp up the effort and get to work. And they certainly worked overtime through the night in Western Australia to make sure that the Euroflex was able to somehow miraculously make their way back onto the water. And Nathan Outeridge, the boat's skipper, also liked his chances of a return to form. On average, you need around 25 points to get onto the podium just based on the last few events. And if we get all racing in today and, um, you know, we perform the way we've been performing, we should get around 30 points. So points are really close ahead of us and, you know, we have a mountain to climb, but, you know, it's not out of the question that we can make the podium. And they've already started to summit that apex. They've won the first race of the day, Euroflex. It was a shortened course, but they're up to their old tricks. <laughs> Plenty to smile about for the series front runner at the moment. Bagging the opener here on Sunday. What a return that was for Euroflex. One minute 48 ahead of Phil Robertson's record point with clean mate. Again, captain consistent Olivia Price. Another top three finish for them. Great stuff. What will be of note will be Tech 2's finish in fifth. That one's going to sting, but they still hold on to the lead. Three points ahead of clean made with record point and ID and pavement. Nothing splitting them. 
the outliner is very much still Euroflex. Tess, what a salivating prospect we have for double points, race seven. So much going on as they race off the line here. You've got to get the boats up to full speed as quick as you can and a lot of separation in the fleet, even though it's at early days. Tech 2 had a race to forget in our opener today. Now we're in the double points landscape. They'll be wanting to hit the hammer and go for it early and put some distance between them and the fleet. Nathan Outeridge, Ian Jensen and Glenn Ashby enjoying some front running at the moment and even some foil time. These boys are singing on a machine that was in jeopardy of even making any outing on the Bustleton Waterway. This is a remarkable turn to form here from the Dream Team. Definitely keep on the bow even, mate. Really overstood today. So it's quite a big right shift. You can see how powerful a move it can be to come into that top mark with speed, so you can try and foil around the mark. OK, going low, mate. Forward up. Wait forward, my mate. And ID have creeped into second here. They've done a good job on that final approach. It looks like pavement are risking it for the biscuit test. They've split and gone the other side. It'll be interesting to see if they can make that pay here. Well, Steve Thomas's decision to gamble and go the other way has paid off. It was an awesome tactical win for the Rainbow Sales at Pavement. They now lead Euroflex. The big question is, can they hold on and go all the way to the line? They'll probably finish us on the downwind then, guys. We've got good calm, so let's just keep it moving. Clean mate closing the gap. They're within 90 metres of the lead now. Yeah, clean mate's faster and higher. I think Euroflex might cross, though. Yep. You just get the feeling one gust could change okay. things. Standing by. Our race leader at the moment is Pavement. It's a great position for them to be in. Especially impressive considering Steve Thomas has got two new men on board for this regatta, giving Dan Morris and Reese Mara are both overseas sailing. You wouldn't know it to look at it. Which is the right way. I think we've got to go with them. Need a bit more weight here, I think, Goops. Pavement came in for the left mark as well, but they did do attack and bear away, which might hurt them here. Yeah, if Euroflex right. come in with pace, they've got a nice runway to the ley line, which means they can build speed into the mark rounding. They're going for the four boards down, so they're going to try and foil on the exit of this turn. See if there's enough pressure to get them flying, get that middle hull up and out of the water. Nice. Just a bit of dirty there. And clean mate also coming in on a port lay to the top left. They're going to tack and bear away. Happy to comfortable tack. Euroflex turned 30 seconds later than pavement, so they're going to have to try and close that down. And we can see on the foils, they're closing gauge very quickly here. Pavement need to heat it up. Keep, keep. Oh, that's got to be one of the sorest sights in world sailing, seeing the master come steaming past you. Stand by. Be a jibe when we get to ley line here, OK? They've jibed now. And a 30-second deficit looks to be about the same lead now, Tess. Yeah, I think Pavement have made a good decision to jibe out early there. They couldn't make it up to Euroflex's lane, so jibing out and searching for a new pressure line. For a bit. Try it. Two, one, and jibing. Such a decisive moment in this, our first double points race, and it's Euroflex that looks to have made the master move at this moment in time. I've just heard they will finish at the start-finish gate behind me now. And it's going to be very close. Thanks, Jack. A downwind finish. This will probably suit Euroflex. Yeah, he's got us. We're just conceding second here, guys. Are we going to the bottom and then up? No, finish at the finish. At the finish. Pavement, they're happy to consolidate second place. They've had a top race. They're right up in that battle for first. So second's still a good result. There you go, boys. Nice work at the top there. Euroflex punching through when it counted on a squirt. Nice one, mate. Well done, guys. Nathan Outeridge putting in the call to Hollywood. They're scripting a dream finish here. Euroflex on top. They're two from two. This time ahead of Pavement and Clean Made with Tech 2, the regatta front runner, all of a sudden looking really shaky. They were more than two minutes adrift there. They still hold on. They've got a one-point cushion over Clean Made 
and a two-point cushion over pavement. But what about this for Euroflex? They're two from two with another double points race still to come. That's this one, race number eight. Five, four, three, two, one, Big acceleration needed off the start. Record point. Wait up. Two tacks here, boys. Okay, ready? Tacking, two tacks. Big, big main on. Ready to go back. Paul Campbell, James and Phil Robertson, they're both getting a little overzealous at the start line. They'll be punished to the full extent and Clean Mate is going to be the one scooping up the spoils. I did not want to go when they were going. <laughs> Tech 2, they're leading the regatta here in Western Australia. They're on top. A win for them in double points will seal the top step of the podium at a home regatta for Luke Parkinson. Surf day. Coffee. Okay, easing up everything. They're going to be a protest. I'm going to go around the outside of them. Go board. And Tech 2 are sending it in there. Nice, nice. This could be a penalty. Done, Jeb. Clean made, playing it safe. They've just gone around cleanly. Pull that jib sheet. Well, Tess, amongst all that, somehow record point managed to split. They've gone the other way and they've got a buffer. They were in last, they're now in first with Tech 2 and Euroflex clean made behind them. It was a great move from Phil Robertson. Yep. And... And as they round the bottom mark, there's still a lot of mechanics to do on board. Lifting up the windward foil, getting that main sheet centred, the traveller on, the jib on, a bit of crew weight up. Oh, and Aidan Menzies in the middle, sheeting that main on. OK. I think she'll get a piece. And we're going to have to go around the outside here. Super close, coming into the bottom mark. Clean made coming in on port, but they are on the inside here. Super close to Euroflex. Tess, this is going to be tight. There's not much real estate at all here. They could actually bump and hit those flotations if they're not careful. And Clean Mate has right. They're on the inside. Protest! Nicest protest ever there. But they're allowed to hit the mark. Penalty Euroflex. Hey. Penalty on us. 4-4. Four, four. Because they hit the mark. But you're allowed to hit the mark. It's a stupid rule. Chip on. Okay. You're allowed to hit the marks, yeah? You're allowed to hit the marks. We gave them heaps of room. That's bull. Very close call, but it looked to me like Euroflex did give Clean Mate enough room to round inside, so I can understand that frustration. Yeah, just need a little bit of body weight once we get some flow. Keep going that way. Go that way. The sailing gods have been against them and all of a sudden we've got spectator craft cluttering their runway. Oh goodness me, these boys need to go out and buy a lotto ticket because it's got to change soon. He's really stopped. Yep, just smooth, real smooth. I oh, know. Tech 2 in the lead though, Test, they have gone past. Oh, terrible luck for pavement. They sailed out onto the edge of the uh, edge of the racetrack and fell in a hole, and they've gone from second to last. It's real, really bad luck as they were doing such a good job. But Tech Two picked the shift, tacked, and around the top mark, clear leader, and in a very strong position to put a stranglehold on this event. Thanks for the update, Jack. Olivia, we got room on you here. No way. We're tacked. We got rights on Olivia. I don't have room on them. You don't have room on anyone. We do. Protest. 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 He's the main. We've got to go. Another mark, another protest there. Just going to go around. Go board down. Protest, Olivia. Hey. Don't have a big crash here, boys. We're OK. Where's the umpire? I'm sure the insurance company will love that one. Phil would just say, I told them not to have a big one and whatever. Let's watch it on our rudder. What's going to be the wash up? Olivia. Penalty Euroflex. You're kidding me. How can we duck? She didn't let us duck them. Olivia ducked on this turn. How can we duck? Protest. Clean made. We had an overlap and they didn't let us through. Jobbing over here in a sec. Super followers, the uh, race has been shortened to the mid gate. 
going downwind. A shortened race with Tech 2 comfortably in the lead here. Doing a whopping 3.6 knots at the barn door. Record point maintaining a yep. lead over Euroflex. They're on the same line and they're on that last run to the finish as well. You're not worried about guys rolling us? Nathan seems very concerned about what's behind him as well. I mean ID. ID must be coming around that mark with a bit of pace. They've got a bit of leverage on the inside, but pavement on a much lower angle rolling over the top of both record point and Euroflexes. We see Tech 2, that's our finish marker, the black and white checkered mark. They're about to cross that finish line at top speed, Mick. Well, that's teamwork, <laughs> Tess. Look at that. That was nice, getting cosy on the bow. Should not be racing. Though. No. Great test. Mate, he came in pretty close. Paul Campbell James calling protest there. He's got something he's not happy about with regards to Euroflex. Another penalty, perhaps heading the series leader's way. You're f***ing kidding. Mate, we, were, we didn't get anywhere near him. That's the most call I've ever heard. Nope, it's gone the other way. Absolute bull****. Penalty ID. Penalty ID. Penalty retired. That's the worst call I've ever heard. It's green or it's them. Well, it's been a penalty fest, Tess. Yeah, I think the sailors need to have a swim in this beautiful water and just clear their heads maybe before we have a chat with them. And pavement are through the finish line there and clean made very close behind. That race belonged to Tech 2. It's our final one on the calendar from WA and pavement again towards the sticky end of proceedings with clean made yet another podium for Olivia Price. Euroflex left to Roo, a fifth place finish there. And that sees them out of contention for the regatta win. That belongs to Tech 2. Luke Parkinson on top alongside another local pavement, Steve Thomas, also from Perth. And Olivia Price, her first podium, a well-earned third-place finish. But it's Tech 2 that lets the champagne fly. Tech 2 tapering perfectly. They had a shocking start to the Superfoiler Grand Prix. Now they've just won their first regatta. It leaves them nicely poised to strike ahead of our grand final. Euroflex's lead slashed here in Western Australia. Just two points ahead of Tech 2 with pavement one point behind them. It means we've got all six Superfoilers gunning for a podium come the Express Superfoiler Grand Final in Sydney. That is coming up next. Bustleton delivered the ultimate scenario. All six superfoilers gunning for a spot on the podium with five vying for overall championship honours. It was a salivating prospect. The fuse was lit and it was all to play for in our final races. Indeed, the championship winner wasn't decided until the last race of the day in the final moments of a memorable skirmish. Yeah, we'll just go back here slowly. On the opening day of the Express nice Superfoiler Grand Final Regatta, Tech 2 looked like emptying the chamber first until the series front runner putted past at the last breath. Good hustle. Hold <laughs> well on, boys. Well done, has. Tricky day, but um, at the same time, a lot of fun. And when you're putting your pull it off and you're up and foiling and everyone else isn't, it's, you, know, you sort of look around and like, this is all right. We've come into a new mantra you know throughout the series of you know you can't win the regatta on day one you can lose it so we're just trying to put ourselves in a great position where we can still win the regatta over the weekend so tough day but tough for the whole fleet so we're just happy to be up there in the second race i reckon you could drop at any time here and we'll build at this angle anyway euroflex was nowhere in sight on the wrong radio channel they missed the start squelching their hopes pavement gilding the second race with her rainbow sails Pretty happy with that. I mean, we had three good starts today, so um, we could have had three good races. And um, you know, I think after the first race where we, we timed out because we made a few bad decisions at the top mark to try and foil, and yeah, so to come away with the, the win, sort of a bit of redemption on that, and yeah, pretty happy. 
After claiming the opener and finishing last in the next, the Blue Brothers dialed it up for the final. Today, you know, first day of the, of the regatta, it's nice to sort of finish the day in a reasonable, reasonable position. Obviously, we're setting ourselves up for, for Sunday. That's going to be the main day. Um, but again, you have to be consistent right the way through the event. There you have it, boys and girls. Three tricky races. What races they were, Euroflex Pavement Tech 2 locked on 13 with ID two points behind. Everyone is lined up, ready to pounce. And Saturday on Sydney Harbour for race four, we had a harbour chock-a-block for the best racing go, we've go. seen all go, season. Go. Calling the final acceleration. Ease, 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 ease. Okay, here we go. And one of the more tense starts we've seen here, Tess, everyone on the same line at the moment. Yeah, you can see ID and Pavement have had a nice start and Tech 2 also in the front row. Record point really sending it out to the left here. Here we go. Yeah, Phil Robinson's had an absolute glamour start there taking off from the pin and he's got room to put his bow down and let it rip. This is such a difficult racetrack. There's so much traffic out on the harbour and these guys 18 knots, they're really up and flying. Euroflex getting absolutely gassed from their position on the line. They can't tuck out. They're really, really stuck at the moment down there with clean mates. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be close with record point here. This is absolutely unbelievable racing. There's so many boats on the harbour and they've got to navigate their way through it. This is the challenges we we're talking about. It's the same for everyone. You need to make the most of it. It's all about managing risk out on the race course. Yeah, left turn. 100% left, you right? Yes. Copy. Tech 2 doing the best job of that at the moment. They've leapt into first position right now. Worth going to lay on uh, and driving. Clean made ducking behind Euroflex on port. I think I think we'll go inside tacking inside tech two here. Trim have you got? Trims have you got? Record point needs max speed here to close gauge two, on tech two. One, twenty. No oh, stairs are there. It's alright. Let's go fast. Well, wheels up. East, east, Jim. A great scramble there from Phil Robertson using all his match racing experience. He's just rolled over the top of Tech go. 2. Big trim, boys. Big trim. A cushion of three seconds at the moment over Tech 2. This is a nice little battle here. Really close. Right. Start the boat, start the boat. Here we go. And Phil just absolutely lit here, sending it down the harbour. He's just trying to keep that middle hull skimming. If he gets too high, Feels he can crash and burn. And if he gets too low, those metres are just going to get eaten up. Record point have done an awesome first work there. We've got Neil Hunter on the bow, Driving Sam up, Phillips on main sheet, and Tech 2 is not leaving anything behind. They're pushing the boat to the limit. I know Luke Parkinson, and if I know one thing, he's going to put the foot down and he's going to absolutely send it. He's going to taste blood. Two, one, go for it. Will Phillips there, putting that windward foil down. Yep. They're setting up for a drive. Two, standby drive. Two, one, driving. Well, the sea stayed out here at the moment, not because of all the spectator craft, but look at this. We're good, we're good, we're good. I think they're going to save it. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we need a tack. Yep. Keep it down. The more runway you have, the more power you put into the boat, the faster these boats go. Better left than the way we board. So you've got to manage when you can handle that speed or when you've got to play it safe. Just going to lay. And a massive job in front of them now. Euroflex, the series leader, watching record point disappear. Easy, easy, everyone. And Phil stuffed the lured bound. Tech 2 is going to be straight over the top here. Well, Wait in, wait in, Aiden, trim on. Well, this is massive for Tech 2. They're really in a series race against Euroflex and now they're putting dirt. Guys, guys. left turn. On wait their in. biggest Stand competitor. By. Good lay line into the bottom gate. Back in, mate. Mate. Beautiful, guys, well managed. Yeah, Luke Parkinson sailing absolutely out of his skin here. He's taken the lead off Phil and Phil's going to split to that right hand gate. Jeb. Yep. Nathan out is just going to have to pull something out here. His back's against the wall at the moment. OK, standing by to come up. Euroflex are in third, some 
44 seconds behind Tech 2, our race leader. Luke Parkinson will be spying record point. He can see they're just disappearing out of view. He'll have a bead drawn on those guys and he'll be ready to pull the trigger. And look how close they are and how quickly the gap closes down between our first and second at the moment. This is a wicked race. Here we go. Big trim. Great idea of just how close this battle is. Yeah, perfect work there by Phil. He knew it was going to be close and he just had to put the foot down and get it on the foils. Be careful now on strapping that gentleman too much, mate. This is pavement. They won a race yesterday. They're battling for fifth today. More down. Uh, we'll try and rough it away first. Come on, wait, Phil Robertson on record point is just going to blow the doors off this top mark and absolutely trim, send trim, it back down wind. Trim, trim, everything, trim. Tremaine. Raken. Go to three. Stand by. Two, one, go board. We've got a split here on the downwind. Tech two rounding the left. Record point went around the right. Board, don't clean it. Boards up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bad pump on that. And stand by, trim on. Epic shots here. Phil Robinson doing over 30 knots downwind. Three foils, absolutely sending it through all the ferry wake, all the chop of the harbour, dodging boats, standing okay, through the gusts and lulls. Board, yeah, and we're going for a drive. Go, board. This is amazing stuff from Phil Robinson. Two, yeah. one, here we go. Boards up, boards up, boards up. Leave us, board. Go, boy. Massive problem there. The board that they've jived onto has fired up. The rope slipped out okay, of the cleat, and that's going to cost up. at least 100 metres, I'd imagine. That could be tech two through, but we'll have to see how close it is at the bottom gate. And Nath just sailing straight through the lure to tech two, so there we go. Euroflex into second. Rolling and nice drive here. Jiving through the middle gate on the downwind. Tech two are on a bit of a runner here. Yep. Harry Mile on that board drop, and they're going to have to sprint through the boat here. Oh, that was really close there for Euroflex. They're having a really testing day today. Oh, board! Driving back, driving, driving! <laughs> Neil, you've got to land those, brother. Board up, going straight. Always nice to have a swear word and brother back to back. Easy everything. Easy everything. Ready to go, boys? Here we go. Three, two, one. Sorry. And Tech 2 slip back into second, so. Euroflex, here we go. nasty bottom mouth grounding here, having to do too many manoeuvres. Sorry about that, I should have said a double job there. Two, one, go board. Will Phillips doing an awesome job on the bow. Here's Nathan just missing the back of their boat. Really interesting, but Tech 2's going to have to stick this tack if they want to make this option work. And looks like Euroflex is through underneath. Oh, superb stuff there from Nathan Outeridge. It was like he's at the seafood buffet and he's run as fast as he can past Tech 2. And Phil Robertson, he's just sailing his own race at the moment. He's going to really soak this in unless another spectator craft gets in the way. Big trip, big trip. What about this for some gorgeous pitches? We can see Euroflex is in second and Tech 2 third. This is really close at the moment. And at the moment, right Euroflex probably just with a sniff over Tech 2. Right turn. Okay. Got major issues back here. I'll get it, I'll get it. The trapeze okay, wires yeah. caught around that back stay. But it's all right, they're on the downwind. The skipper doesn't need to trapeze. Here we go. Glenn's looks to be tangled as well. We're up. Trim it up. Tech 2 are attacking from behind here. They're sailing a higher angle. They've got more pace and they've just rolled over Euroflex. You've got to be quick to capitalise and they've done just that, Tess. Yeah, perfect move there by Tech 2 and Nathan Outridge just having some issues there. Not sure what's gone wrong, but he's struggling to foil. He's going to have to sort it out quick. He's on the final leg. This is to the finish. Okay. Final downwind leg. Ah, that bow went up. Phil knew it was going to come crashing down. Wait in. Just building, building, racing, racing. Go and trimming, big trimming on everything. Oh, look at this. It's yeah, going all sorry. wrong for record point. Black to Lewis. And Tech 2, like an arrow. Yeah, I know you are. Is slinging past on the Wait way out. to the Where target. See, William Tell style. Oh, yeah, she loose. You! Loving it. I love this. Oh, it's
Copy that. Sending it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! And such a cruel sport sometimes. Oh, yeah. Stand by foil drive for the boys. Go board. But to the victor go the spoils. Race one on Saturday. Stand by. Three, two, one. Belongs to Tech Two. Driving. Close finish now on between record point and Euroflex. Stopping. And you can't win. It's finished. And record point have just scraped through in second. This place is a place to sell these boats. Yes. Short and course. The agony. Sorry, boys. And the ecstasy for our victors as well. Two totally different tales. My heart's out here, but my balls are down there. <laughs> A fantastic race. One of the high points of the Sydney regatta already. Tech 2 finishing on top ahead of record point Neuroflex with pavement in fourth position. After four races here at the Express Superfoiler Grand Final, it's Tech 2 on top of Euroflex. That is absolutely massive with pavement just one behind. We'll hit the afterburners. There's more racing coming up okay, on the yeah. other side of this. Flat to mood. Oh, yeah. The Sydney Ferry, the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. Iconic instruments instantly recognisable as being part of Sydney Harbour. And at the moment, so are these superfoilers. Double tack. Javon, he's mate. He's mate. I'm stalled. I'm stalled. I'm stalled. Phil battling okay, for that cut, pin in position. Go, Looks go, like Euroflex might take it off him. Go, boys. Hiking. Come on. Javon, main in. Everything in. Oi! Record points late. Gotta lay. Not gonna happen, is it? Record Five points struggling to lay. They're gonna get absolutely sharp off this, off this line. And Nathan Adridge just says, thank you very much. I'll take that. Starting at the pin end of the line is high risk, but we know the pressure's better out on that left side, and Euroflex have nailed it here. Learn to sell your lemon! On board ID, Fang laughing there behind at pavement. Yeah, this is exhibit A, you know, true champion step up. And this is Nathan out who's taking the pin, putting the bow down and he's off. The wind may have just come back to the right. You can see Euroflex was knocking down a bit there and Tech 2 and pavement leading out to the right here to Lured with clean mate down above. Copy. Being left turn, one and in. So Olivia Price leaving both boards down here. That's safer, more stable okay, mode. Here comes the bear away. Bearing away two. One. Big bows down there, but they've ripped it away. Two guys on trapeze and they'll be up on the foils. Oh, she's got good speed, but what about Tech 2? They've got even more. They turn three behind and they probably have at least that much of a lead right now. And there's the difference between three boards and four. One slower, more stable. Luke Parkinson letting it rip, going for max speed there and just sailing straight over the top. Yeah, Phil's got this boat dialed with the big man, Neil Hunter, on the wire, swinging it down. It's amazing they can do these speeds with only one guy on trapeze. It's jaw-dropping stuff, Jimmy, and it's a Kiwi absolutely killing it on Sydney Harbour at the moment. Three, two, one. That's record point calling for the jive. These guys are pretty close to coming into the bottom mark. Yeah, he's just stuffed the bows down before this jive. He's going to go back to that left hand western side of the track. That's where he likes. It'll be interesting to see if Phil follows because he knows that's the way to go or if he's still going to try and force a split. So Phil sailing across the gate. He's going to go to the eastern side of the harbour. He knows it's not so great out there, but if he can get in some different wind to Luke, then maybe he can get by. He's got to risk it for the biscuit, Jimmy. Record point trailing by almost 20 seconds to Tech 2, who are looking for number two for the day. And with greater risks comes greater reward. Who is going to dig in and gamble for the big payoff? Will Tech 2 play it safe? Will they nurse it home? And will record point go for the big gamble? Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Just trim it on. Absolutely perfect rounding. 20 knots to 30 in an instant. Trying, mate. And Phil Robson doing an amazing job as well. 
speed can be your best friend on these boats. Sometimes when you're going quick, you've got more time, but a bit of a touchdown. East Traveller. All right, East Traveller. Stand by. Yeah, board up. When we're board up, please. Here we go. And Euroflex there, penalising themselves with a bit of sloppy manoeuvring. They're in third. They're eyeing off a chance at second and first. Lean out, mate. Hold on. This racing's all about assessing the risk. Let's keep going around. I know, mate. I know. East travel, please. Ready to jive. Two, one, going. Questioning there if the race committee has shortened the course, but they're still going down to the bottom and then upwind to the finish line. Yeah, agreed. Not a foiling type, but they've come yeah, out with OK speed. Shot. On board with Euroflex. Ah! Slight nose dive there, close right. to another boat. You all right, cover. Okay. Just come and sit on the side. And Harry Miguel on the bow of Euroflex. Looks like he may have hurt himself there. That jive turn round the right mark at the bottom. Such a difficult manoeuvre to do. Go, boys. They're through that max power zone, lifting that windward foil. They're through that manoeuvre. Just keep going to lay. Okay, copy. And we see Harry Miguel there on his hands and knees. He's obviously in pain, but holding on, they're still racing. Trying to reel in record points, still in the lead. Even on one leg, Harry still manages the board drop. Courageous effort. Can't see. OK, driving. And a nasty manoeuvre here from Tech 2, having to do that U-turn, which is a manoeuvre that nobody likes to do, but he knows that he has to head to that western side of the track. That left-hand turn on the bottom must be favoured. There must be more wind out there to justify doing that aggressive manoeuvre. Pitch is where we can see Euroflex still fighting for a podium, perhaps even a win here. They wouldn't have given up just yet. No, continue after this point. You've got to have such good judgment on time and distance relative to all these boats going different speeds around the harbour. And record points going straight through the middle, threading the needle for a victory. A little speed here. They missed out. They had to settle for second last time and they've atoned for the earlier error. Seco! Nice work, boys. That was well-deserved, Nick. Oh! I should start like that more often, eh? <laughs> that is an unbelievable race and record point. After yeah, getting funny. smoked off the start line, they've fired all the way back 70s. through the fleet to take out the race. <laughs> Sizzling stuff there, Jimmy. Record point on top ahead of Tech 2 and Euroflex. They're the main ones to keep an eye on, but also Spy Pavement, Steve Thomas, very much in touching distance. The regatta scoreboard after five races sees Tech 2 on top of Euroflex with pavement and record point barely anything in their battle for third. Up next, we've got the final race from Saturday on the Express Superfoiler Grand Final Program. Ah. Launching the action out of Wallara Sailing Club this week. Euro. The steering Tech 2 keeping a close eye on Euroflex. It hasn't been their day, and they do have a crew change. <laughs> Connor Nicholas jumping on board for the injured Harry Miguel. Oh, he tweaked his knee. Change of undies, eh? <laughs> Get the around now. What a great picture that is. Six super foilers, the Sydney Harbour Bridge in full stretch. There you go, and a great slingshot start from Euroflex, but just dipping the windward hull in just after the gun, and looks like Paul Campbell James and ID has really punched in the middle of the line. Going for a high mode all the time. Bad traffic here, so high mode. And pretty cool to see ID has won the start. They've got the 
left position here and they're in a nice high lane and sailing fast. And Phil Robertson on record point, I think, might have snuck through. And he's going to take the right turn off Tech 2 here. Well, knowing yeah. at Nielsen Park will know a big storm is coming. What they will know is the super foilers are coming and they're doing so really quickly. A nice little tangle with record point and Tech 2. Both teams pushing to get on the foil and Tech 2 wants to jibe early and I imagine Phil Robson Positive will cover as soon mark. as they turn. Record point and Tech 2 did well only doing one tack on that off wind. Hold on. Hold on, man. Good gusts, stand by. Three, two, one, driving. Super fast leg, that opener. Three and a half minutes. They were absolutely screeching. Right, we're good here. Okay, here we go. Round you go. Well, Euroflex are now in second position. They trail tech two. Get her up. Trying to make sense of this one is difficult. It's so very close out there. Trim. Bad waves, keep the trim on. Do not eat. ID getting absolutely carted there, right over the top of Euroflex and over the top of Tech 2. So they're into the lead now, 28 and a half knots. On board ID, this is the first time we've seen two crew trapeze on the downwind. So both main sheet, Fang and the Bowman Ed are both trapping with that windward board up. So three point foiling, and you can see how quick that boat's going. And how slippery it is there as well. Fang Warren finding it hard work out there. He's a top athlete doing really well to scramble through there. Stand by, board down, please. I think we can make it. Yeah, board down. Maybe not well enough, because here come Tech 2. This is unbelievable racing. 65 metres between the top yeah. three boats here as they all cross jibes. It's all about getting the boat position, which can then give you the biggest runway to gain speed. Still here, mate. Still got the pressure. Where are you going? Still got pressure here. Not at lay, another 20. Not two. Lying, okay. Three. Driving now. Two. One. Driving. Our leader's pointing at the Royal Prince Edward Yacht Club, getting ready for the big hook back up. Oh, Nelly, are they going to have enough room? Oh, hey. Come on, guys. Tech 2 had starboard rights big, big over Euroflex. Board up, board up. Keep the boards down. Penalty Euroflex, penalty Euroflex. And going back. I wonder if Luke Parkinson's come on guys was aimed at Euroflex or the umpires. Yeah. Euroflex penalty complete, Euroflex penalty complete. Okay. Mm. Round the outside. Tech to it, it's got inside rights and they want to do the left turn. There's more pressure out on the left there has been all day. <laughs> There's certainly plenty of pressure there as well. Another close call. And ID will be happy going out to that right hand side of the track on their own. Not being caught up in this battle between these three boats. Well, at the moment it's Euroflex and Tech 2 tangling meters in it. Yeah, this is really tight racing and Phil Robson just getting pinched out there. He's in a tough spot and going to tack out. This breeze line's converged on the left. The further you can get into it, the better it looks like it'll be. So we're going to see a big split on this last downwind. Three, two, one, pulling trigger. Go. Take two with the right hand turn. Stand Record board, point going to go board. left. Trap up. The lasers have got to drive. Copy. Board down, please, Will. We're going past them? Yes, we're going past them. Stand by the travel hit. Too high risk for Tech 2 to continue. They need to jive Stay and consolidate their lead. Bring it up. Yeah, no rush. And for Euroflex, not their best yeah. leg. They're still coming to Go terms with off. new personnel on board. And it seems it's only getting worse. Glenn Ashby spearing round the front. I got mate. East trap for him. Sorry, Glenny. Let's get the board down and just get out These of here. These boats right? are on the knife edge. Two. One, driving. This is unbelievable pictures here. One mistake at 30 knots, it'll be about 200 metres gone. The pressure's on. These guys want this win so badly. Whoa, got... Ease, big eases. I know. Trims, big trims, here we go. 
I'm just talking to myself too, yeah, mate. First sign of madness, they say, talking to yourself. And he'd be mad, Luke Parkinson, that he's just let record point through. And they're building a handy lead right now. Two, one. Driving, guys. Nice. Phil, he's going to be gone here. This is on to the last leg, going to the finish here. So Phil's got the side he wants, and Tech 2 has to follow. Hang on, take off. Stand by, John. Two, one, driving. Straight in the board up. Well, Tech 2's already caused record point to slip on a banana skin today. Maybe there's another one. going to stay in for the roundup. Lurking on the racetrack. Don't write the red flyer off. It's all on Phil now. This is his race to lose. He's just got to keep the foot down and keep it clean all the way to the finish. Oh, and you've cursed him there, Jimmy. He's just touched down. Maybe this is the opportunity Tech 2 needed to steam past again. And they're coming for them. And Phil Robertson, he's the rocket man, the cool-headed Kiwi, with two wins from three today. And the man in his stern is also doing superbly, especially as he's going to close in and take second ahead of Euroflex yet again. Woohoo! <laughs> Indies! <laughs> oh. Got to be happy with that. Tess, and we've got to be happy about the lineup there. Race six taken by record point. Phil's second of the day ahead of Tech 2 with Euroflex again, keeping close to Tech 2. It's setting up a really close finish to the Express Super Foiler Grand Final, given that just four points separate Tech 2 and Euroflex, and just five separates record point from the lead. And we're playing for double points tomorrow. So the last three races of the season will very much decide who walks away with the inaugural Ben Lexan Trophy. Double points, double delight, coming your way after this. So much on the line today. Euroflex has the chance to snare the Ben Lexan trophy, but there are so many other superfoilers looking to knock them off their perch. Yeah, OK, let's uh, set up the fair way. One of those is pavement. Steve Thomas, Reese Mara and Dan Morris want to get it done. They had a tough Sorry. day yesterday. Yeah, I think we're definitely a port start here. Probably a little early. Hold nice and slow here, boys. Happy to go backwards. Complete contrast to these guys' record point. A little bit of right shift, isn't it? Or will it be Tech 2's Luke Parkinson, Sam Newton and Aidan Menzies that get it done? And there is going to be a coming together of the fleet here at Compression. Two boats coming through. The other four machines with right of way and record points really catching wind and burying it. And was that a scream from record point? You see him? He's upside down off the start line. He's upside down off the start line. And ID pretty happy. They got a nice lane through there on port, but let's hope everyone's OK on board record point. It's always concerning when you hear those screams coming from one of the boats as we see Euroflex screaming at the way at the moment into the lead here. And this is the start. This is where it all went wrong for record point. They dug it in, lost control of the steerage. And we can see here just how wild a ride it really became for Phil Robertson. He didn't have control from then on. When we see Neil Hunter, the Scotsman, go flying round the bow and into the water. And Tess, amongst it all, a great start from ID. Shoot on everything. Shoot on everything. Come on, shoot on. Have anything. And how hard it's proving for clean mate as well, also with a problem. Boys, we can't sail with these rudders. Trying to troubleshoot with Josh McKnight and Harry Morton exactly what's wrong there. Here we go. About to round the top mark onto this first downwind leg. Here we go. Nathan, with his fingers on the buttons, will just light the boat up and get it onto the fours as soon as they round here. They've done a nice job of coming into the top gate with speed to really launch around that top mark for the bear away and ID separating again from Euroflex. They like this right-hand side of the course. 
Yeah, that's right. Got so to go ID had the stable flight issues yesterday, and now they've passed it over to Euroflex. Seems like right off steel point there is the advantage. And look at that. There's a perfect shot. This really nice flight from Paul Campbell James. Fang Warren on the wire doing the hard work. They don't like their chances of getting past ID here. And Tech 2 probably the same, ready to slingshot. OK, two, one, and coming up. The question is, though, can anyone catch the series leader? They had three third positions yesterday. Today, they're eyeing off a win. Coming into the bottom mark rounding here. Pavement rounding the right at the bottom. Wait in. Go low. Big weight. Tech 2 doing an awesome job. They've found their groove and they're into almost, you know, a battle with pavement for second place here, passing ID. OK, here we go. So there we see Euroflex with a 37-second lead over pavement. Tech 2 just behind 40 seconds. They're very much in contention for the race win here. And they'll want to make sure they can yep. get beyond pavement and stay within stalking distance of their great rival for the series crown Euroflex. You'd back... Luke Parkinson here. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Luke Parkinson doing a great job. He knows what's in front of him, and he's into second just by a few metres in front of pavement. So he needs to finish second here to limit the damage on Euroflex. Bring this wave through. Wave through here. Swing that. Yeah, here we go. No problem, mate. OK, wind them on. Up the power. Lifting up. Copy. Here we go, pointing the boat at that pressure, waiting to get hit by it and just cart it down the track. Yeah, we got a ferry. And Tech 2 have overlaid, coming into the top mark, but they've got a lot of speed here before this bear away. Right turn. Stand by. Two, one. Trim on, please. You can see those pressure bands in the top of the Wait screen, in. the texture on the water. Wait in. Copy. Stand by four boards, Sambo. Your hand. And That's pavement it. splitting from Tech Step 2. Four boards, please. What a thrilling duel this is. Hardly anything between Tech 2 and pavement, but Tech 2 has just leapfrogged pavement. They're in second at the moment, right where they need to be. The pressure is on pavement. They need to rally. They need to climb back. They need to avoid a capsized boat as well. So the Queen Mate's got some electrical issues. One of their rudder actuators isn't working and they need that to work because it's part of the flight control of the boat. So without that, they're a little bit out of, sh out of sorts and can't go through the ranges. So they're trying to fix it now. We've got our experts on, to, on the boat as we speak. Jack McCartney yeah, with the latest are. on clean Here mate we as we see Dan Morris scurry up there along the bow. It's slippery on those traps. That's for yeah, sure, Tess. And you can see that middle gate coming into frame. Absolutely, and he's not going to be happy right now as Pavement just buzzes by on starboard through that middle gate. They're on their way to the bottom and Pavement's absolutely flying ahead of them right now. Are you happy in there? Doing 23 knots, I suppose. You can keep it. Yeah, just press down, I think. And we can see the lead. Euroflex is really extended from the fleet. They've just got to drive it home now on the yeah, final exactly. upwind. From here, they've just got to keep it clean, get it back through the finish line in that middle gate. And they're home and hose for this race. And Tech 2 needs to get into second place. They need to pass pavement by this bottom gate. Turning up. Yeah. Pavement have maintained second place here as they round the bottom gate for the final time. And Tech 2 setting up for their ley line rounding. They're almost going to trace the wake here, Tess, and that means it's all to play for. Who can manage to control the boat better as we whiz past the superfoiler headquarters of Wallara Sailing Club? He's trapped. Oh, a bit of Lewis heel there in the round We're good, up. we're good, we're good. Probably pushing too hard. He's trapped. Good. Give on there. These boats Your are so man. sensitive to the angle of heel. See it, guys. They are a sitting duck right now, Tess. Tech Sorry, 2. Guys, not sailing smart today. Stranded and opening the door for Pavement, who can gallop away to second. Right. And it's not quite mission accomplished, but they're one third of the way there. Just take it easy from here. So you hear from now, take it easy. They're in delivery mode. You can see the pin end of the line in the middle of your screen and the boat end up near the motor yachts moored on that eastern boundary. Nice work, boys. 
challenge was thrown down. They've answered the call. Love it, I didn't know his name was. <laughs> and surprisingly, even some confusion as to who's on the bow today. Two more of those, OK? All things equal. The equation is simple. Two more wins for Euroflex. Well, it might seem simple and they might have made it look easy. Nathan Outeridge on top there with Euroflex 37 seconds ahead of pavement with Tech 2, the main rival, the boat they're keeping their eye on, a minute 43 behind. What does that mean for the overall equation with two races remaining? Well, we can see Euroflex and Tech 2 locked on 37 points each. Pavement, record point and ID still mathematical possibilities of snaring the Ben Lexan trophy. We've got two races, both worth double points. So it is all to play for on Sydney Harbour. We'll have both of those up next. Second of the day at this one before the start of the race. Boys, we can't sail with this rudder. Euroflex with some nice clean air. But it's wet and wild out there at the moment. Gotta go for it. But it's ID who's taking a big nibble out them. We're good, we're good, we're good. Sorry guys, not sailing smart today. There it is, they're a third of the way there. Welcome back to the Express Superfoiler Grand Final. Two races away from deciding who will win the inaugural trophy. And Jack, ID's run into some trouble. Can you give us the latest there? I can give you an update on the ID. They've broken the boom end pin, which connects to the mast. So Zach, our trusty boat builder, has taken that in to shore and we'll have it back out for the last race of the day. Cut! There's some outgoing tide pushing these boats over the line. We've seen clean made there back on the start line and it looks like ID will start just so they avoid getting a DNS. Ten. Nine. Just got to bear away a little bit here, thank you. Quick, 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 Five, quick, quick. Got to bear two, away. Three, two, one. Here we come. Oh, we're, we're beating someone. <laughs> And the laughter from CJ there, he realises all four boats ahead of him were over the line. Umpires, we have all boats except record point and ID. All four boats except record point and ID are by individual. So four boats have broken the start, means they've got to do two taps to clear their penalty. And this is going to slow everyone up. It won't slow Euroflex down, Tess. They've got a lead of more than 500 metres. Oh, and Houston, we have a problem. No! Spinning up now. We've Let just go. lost the bowman, Lockie Gilmore. We can come back and get you if we don't tip it over. That's a big if, Nathan. Nice, Lockie, nice. Coming, bro. You can see how low they're hanging on those hooks. Maximum weight out to try and save the capsize. Back the jib and go board up here. Well, the ship is right okay, but it could still go wrong. Well done, Lockie. Great save. Anybody to come away here, Trevor? Well, a great save, but a monumental mistake here from our series leader. 500 metre lead is vanishing by the millisecond. Here comes pavement. Okay, so let's go board up. Pavement coming in here with a fair bit of speed as well. We'll see if they jive around that right mark at the bottom. It was a great save test, no doubt about that. The pavement can sense a little chink in Euroflex's so far impenetrable armour. Well, it's not just the electronics, it's the driving two test. This could be a close call with record points and Tech 2. Right there. No, 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 no. Just don't worry about it. Board up. He's allowed to go straight. Record point had rights. They were inside both. Well, Luke Parkinson was very relaxed. Meanwhile, Tess, I think I've pulled a hamstring up here. That was a really close one, but we're still racing. You can see pavement. They've tacked onto starboard. Euroflex on port, so we're going to see convergence here, and pavement have crossed ahead on starboard. So Euroflex has rights here. Pavement has to keep clear. Euroflex just crossing. Oh, just squeezing through there. Jimmy, what a battle royale we have on Sydney Harbour. A beautiful backdrop for some top shelf racing. Okay, here we go. 
Really interesting here, Euroflex opting for that left hand turn and I imagine you'll see pavement go straight with that right hand turn and this is it, the race is on to the finish. Nathan absolutely steaming down in there on the Euroflex. They're looking the goods. He's disappearing at the moment, Jimmy. This is superb stuff from Outer Ridge and Co. Stand by, we're running out of it here. And Two. pavement's in takeoff mode. One. They're going to soar all the way to the finish and give Euroflex an almighty scare. Here they come. Yes, one. Big job here. This race is all going to come down to the final throws. We can see Euroflex buying the line, but here comes Pavement. They've got the pace. Have they got the heading? It's going to be close. Did you want us to ease the trap? And it looks like Euroflex has just squeaked through, but by the slimmest of margins. Just keep cruising in case it's not. Seven seconds the difference there. And there the finish is. A bit of champagne spray already. Amazing work by Euroflex and Pavement there. Such a tight race, that one. Just cruise down past these punters. Euroflex punting the hopes of Pavement there, Nathan Outeridge. Finishing on top ahead of Pavement with Tech 2 doing enough to stay within stalking distance of the series front-running Euroflex record point in fourth position there. Euroflex on top now with a lead of four points, but that can be cancelled out almost straight away by Tech2, who are very much still eyeing off the series win here. So too pavement, it is going to be a blockbusting grandstand finish. We'll find out who reigns supreme next. So all boats except record point and ID were OCS. Two, one. Attacking. Back to Jim, please. Ah, sorry, boys. We got Game Boy problems. No! We can come back and get you if we don't tip it over. Steve Thomas found something out of nothing there. He turned the last gate in fourth. He turns this one in second. Go straight, go straight! Go straight no, 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 no. Just don't worry about it. And he's going to shoot from the hip here, Steve Thomas. Look at this. It's going to go right down to it. And it's Euroflex with the spoil. Well, the fuse is lit. Our final race of the season will decide who'll win. It's between Tech 2 and Euroflex, really. Pavement a mathematical chance, but they will need a lot of things to go their way if Steve Thomas is to realise that dream. Three, two, one, start, clear start. Clear start and a great one from Tech 2 there. And clean made, another amazing start from Olivia Price. But more importantly, where is Euroflex? We've got pavement and tech two towards the front. Clean made up there too, but Euroflex is nowhere in sight. This could be massively consequential in the race overall. They're hardly even in picture as tech two gathers some steam and looks to pull away right now. Massive moment. Okay, fantastic. And Euroflex have an absolute mountain to climb here. Euroflex out to 50 metres behind. They're surely going to feel the squeeze now as Tech 2 pulls away. I think we'll see a tack to that right hand side here from, Europe, uh, from Tech 2. Sorry. Big E's on everything. Big E's on trap. You've got to have nice feel in the boat to know oh when God. the pressure's there to be able yeah, to foil. Off, <laughs> or when you've got to yeah. minimise the distance you sail. And stand by big Trav. A superb start for Tech 2. They round first ahead of Clean Mate in second. There's not Hit much room. No ID room. has rights. No Protest again. And rubbing their old foe the wrong way yet again. ID and pavement. A little laugh from Ed Powers there. He knows they were in the right. Euroflex have heaps on here, rounding in fifth place. Low right. Low right not ideal for right. Nathan Outeridge, Glen Ashby, and Lockie Gilmore. Euroflex move into that winning combination. One spot behind Tech 2, that's what they need. Taking off trim, big trim. Huge passage there from Euroflex, Tess. They're back in it. They've found a nice lane on the downwind. They've run low in that pressure line there and they've got right the way to the outside of the course. And here we go. Now Tech 2 need one of the other boats to step up, do some work for them and get between all them and Euroflex. All super foilers, this is the race committee. S flag is flying from the bottom gate. Come from the bottom gate to the end gate and finish. So there you hear, short and course, they're going to the bottom gate and then back to the finish line, and then that'll be the race done. He's more than... 
Less lift. They're in good pressure at the moment, but you've really got to know what you're diving into. Nice. Get these, mate. Copy that. Go high, please. Tech yeah. 2 doing a really nice job Looking here. Through. UFX, great pressure there. Three string, that's good news for them. And they're foiling into a jive through to this bottom gate. And the angle range changes drastically depending on how much pressure there is. And it looks like there's a lot lighter wind coming into the gate. So Tech 2 may have underlaid coming into the bottom mark. Incredible stuff, Jimmy. We can see Euroflex closing the gate to Tech 2, the race leader. And it's going to be a thrilling finish, a rocket to the line. Euroflex round the outside. OK, board up now. Awesome manoeuvre by Nate Thaudus. Now he's going to jam it in a high mode and try and pinch Tech 2 off. Euroflex picked a hotter lay line coming into that bottom mark. They had more okay. pace. Just Tech 2 had to double jive to go around the left, so that's hurt them a little bit. But pavement's really chomped down the metres here, only 85 metres behind. Two, Zach. Two, one, tacking. Quiet voices on board Tech 2. They don't want Euroflex to know they're tacking. They don't want Euroflex to go with them. They want to be able to split. They need some room to be able to build their speed, get back and regroup for this race. And Tech 2 enjoying their lead at the moment. Luke Parkinson pointing the foiling pencil towards the finish line. He wants to sign off with a win and he wants to let Pavement inflict a few headaches on Euroflex 2. That would be the dream scenario for the Red Flyer right now. He'd be shivering in his timbers, the master mariner right now. And we need to know if 50 metres, 40 metres now is enough for Tech 2 to be able to cross in front. They have got the advantage. This is make or break, Tessa. Hey! You can't do it twice. Go, Tess! Go, Let's go. Tech 2 furious. What? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. go. Because you can't dial down and then decide to come back up. Yeah. Tech 2 seething. They feel like justice hasn't prevailed. They feel like Euroflex got away with one there, Tess. Yeah, you can't alter course and dial down. You've got to give the other boat room to keep clear. No penalties been given. I'm not sure about that call. They're still seething on Tech 2. So Hunt us. Yeah. We go to bear away. But they want the spoils. Last one, Glenny. Who's going to close out the last race in the Express right on, Super Foiler Grand yeah. Prix? Yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Euroflex, the brilliant Bendigo boy and the Wizard of Wanji. Good composure, eh? They've etched their name on the Ben Lexan Trophy for the first time well ever. First day. <laughs> They'll be proud of themselves. They've had to work incredibly hard for it. Good fight. Shame about that bottom mark, Leila. Like, like, Marco eh? sailing an unbelievable race, leading almost all the way around. Euroflex fighting all the way back. Unbelievable sailing from those guys to dig deep all the way back from fifth to first. It's taken them all season long, but in the end, it was 18 minutes and 18 seconds that got Nathan Outeridge home for Euroflex ahead of Tech 2 by eight seconds. It really did go down to the wire with Pavement taking third. In terms of the regatta scoreboard from Sydney, we can see that Euroflex did what they needed to do with three wins on the final day of racing to get them to 61 points on top of Tech 2, who finished in second on 55, with Pavement rounding out the podium on 49. Overall, in the race to the Ben Lexan Trophy, it was just four points that got Euroflex home in the end over Tech 2 and Pavement. And Jack, to the victors go the spoils. Yeah, here with the winning team, Nick. Uh, we've got Glenn Ashby, Nathan Outeridge and Lockie Gilmore. Well done, boys. How, what, how does it feel, mate? <laughs> oh, it's been a really tough event here in Sydney. And, uh, you know, we've uh, had another good battle again today. Lockie put in hard and it was awesome to have him nice you know, work, join us. Nice Gave him, uh, cheers, boys. Gave him a bit of injury before the start, but he's all good. Sent him around, sent him around the, the mast in the second race and uh, had a perler in the last one, so very happy. Congratulations, the uh, first ever Super Foiler Grand Prix winners, the mighty Euroflex. Well done. Well, the bubbles will fly for quite some time. It's the moment they've been waiting for and a moment to savour for Euroflex. It took them a few personnel to get there, but they got there in the end on the most famous harbour in the world. We'll be back for season two. That's not the last time we've seen the battle for the Ben Lexan Trophy ignite. Thanks for following us around Australia. We've loved bringing you the action. On behalf of Jack, Jimmy, Tessa and myself, bye for now. Great one from Tech 2 there. Euroflex have an absolute mountain to climb here. No room, they
Thursday. Thursday. Had a flag, a penalty's call. And we've got Euroflex zooming in. Thought you were home, Parko. Not yet, buddy. You got this, right? And we've got a protest. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there it is. And they've got the Ben Lexan trophy. It's theirs.